Hi folks, uh, welcome to Out of School Care Network game tutorial. This is the game Ute. Uh, it's a Korean game and I originally learned the game from a Korean student in one of the classes I was running. And she showed me the board and counters and dice, which looked like this. And we had a rather fun time playing it. So the original board looks a little bit like this. This is quite a small one. Sorry, I got it the wrong way around. It's just quite a small one. Uh, we used a larger one just drawn on a piece of paper. And this one came out of a box brought from a Korean supermarket. Uh, it was about $8. So you may still find something like this available if you have Asian shops near you check it out, but as with everything with Oscan, we try to show you how to do things with no cost involved at all. So we will be making our board on a piece of paper, but if you want to, you can of course make it much bigger than this on a piece of butcher paper or something like that, and that's probably the ideal way to play it. Anyway, let's get into it, showing you how to draw up the board, how many spaces, how to make the dice and the counters. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to make a miniaturized ute board using just the things you see here. Um, two bits of paper, blue and red, are the colors I've chosen. Um, and you need a pencil, a white piece of paper just to draw your board, and a small amount of blue tack. So I'll just move these bits of paper out of the way for the moment and we'll get on to drawing first. So with the drawing a board, um, you can end up with something quite attractive but I'm just going to draw a very basic functional board um, where everything is laid out kind of neatly. So if you're like me and not so good at keeping things in a straight line, the first thing you might want to do is just fold your paper Yep. Notice I'm recycling a piece of paper here. I'm not even using a blank sheet. Just notice that. It doesn't really matter because you only need this side of the paper. So now I've got a rough guide for the middle and the, the middle of the edges as well. Center of the board, center of the edges. Okay. So on those four edges and one center spot, I'm going to put one circle. Each. Okay, now for the rest of the board you need to put some more circles, spaces around the board for movement and they follow roughly a circular line around here and if I rotate do the same thing. On each of these circle tracks so we'll just hold that up so you can see. In fact, I'm going to have to use a darker pencil because there's not enough light. Okay. Now, that's what you've got. You've got your guide going around and your five, your five circles. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is add some more spaces for movement of the counters. We're going to put Along each section of track here, we're going to put four circles. Okay, roughly evenly Two. spaced. Three. And so on. Right. So here we have a whole set of circles. A couple of them are a little wonky, but that's the beauty of a homemade board. Okay, between each circle, draw a line. Not joining the circle, just indicating that that's the track. There we go. Now, as well as the circular track, there's going to be tracks going straight through the middle as well. 
but these tracks only have two spaces like so so they are like shortcuts one last finishing touch on the five larger circles that we started with just put a dot in the middle like so there's one line there and put in there and that's our ute board okay just checking again two spaces between the large circles joined by straight lines one two three four spaces between the circles draw, uh, joined by a curved line and then one more thing that will be helpful on your board and I'll just bring this a little bit closer here is direction of movement right at the bottom is our start space and direction of movement around the board with our counters will be around this direction um, I'll just put our board down for a minute and talk about counters if you haven't uh, made counters before you might want to look at the other video I've got up just about some pointers about the size of your board and the size of your counters which obviously have to work together so this is a small board so I have got quite small counters and I've got three blue counters and one two three red counters mm -hmm. now how have I made these counters well I was just playing around today and I was looking for a different way to do a, a set of counters out of next to nothing so what I've used is some paper and some blue tack and so basically what we have here is squares of paper with blue tack sandwiched between they are not too hard to pick up you can get them off the board quite easily you can move them around, they're quite smooth to move so I think they work pretty well what you might notice however though is that the red one if I move these out of the way, the red one has turned out slightly bigger, one of them has turned out slightly bigger than its other two and some people may not like that so what I thought we could do is just very quickly show you how to make one. So, if you want to get them the same size, use a strip that you've already cut. I've just lost it, here it comes again. A strip you've already cut. Oop. And cut it into the size you want. One, two. Now we have two pieces, grab a small piece of blue tack and pop it on there. Now the amount of blue tack you use of course will determine the, the thickness of the counter and you want it reasonably thick so it's easy to pick up and that's it, that's your counter, simple yeah um, we got some other ways to make counters too but we're going to use these ones on my miniature view board and three in some sets you'll see that there's a special space set aside so the red ones sit there and there's a small box for them and the blue ones sit there which is another way you can do it so there they are ready to race. Now, how do we move the counters? 